think we have just six enemies to fight through. Like six groups of enemies, and I don't have the CP for all this, man. Let's see, we have Earth, Light, Wind. Not one of these is gonna be leaving. Ugh. Look how far away this is. Let's examine them all. I know what's in Earth. I need to examine them all to see which ones I'm gonna go through first. Okay, that one's looking like one of the last ones. Maybe I should do the level grinding now, considering I gotta go through all these guys. Like, I have to fight them. So... This looks like it would be outside the final boss. You don't just put six things of fighting very strong enemies outside the door that isn't the final boss. Reminds me a lot of Knights of Azure 2. Oh yeah, that one's definitely one of the last ones. this one. Oh my god, what is that? I think the easiest one was just the two big giant guys and some of the bomb boys. Dragon and some Helgenko? Okay, that's the easiest one. Easiest one right there. side quests, come back here and see whatever is behind that door. Let's see, what, what can we see behind that door? Like, nothing. There's no way to tell what's behind that door. But this has to be the final boss. Right behind the door. There, there's nothing else I could think of. It's the perfect place for the final boss. What is this corridor for? Wait, if I'm in here... Okay, this map isn't making much sense. Yeah, okay. That's... This is where I can go do the, uh, level grinding now. So... Uh... I'm going to edit what I have now, or I'm just going to go quickly go into Genshin, do my dailies in there, and then come back on here and do my level grinding. Hey, uh, Alfin? What's up, Law? You ever find yourself just wanting to give Rinwell a pat on the back? Law? Not in a weird way. I'm just saying she may be sassy, but she's also trying really hard, you know? And sometimes, when I see how hard she's working, I just want to walk up and encourage her. Is that weird? No, I can see why you might feel that way. 
After all, she is kind of like a little sister to everyone at this point. Right, exactly! But I'm worried if I do it the wrong way, she'll blast me with her magic. Or if not her magic, she'll sick hoodle on me to peck my eyes out. Yeah, there's not much you can do if she's not feeling up for it. In fact, you're not the only one struggling to close that gap. Huh? Has Hoodle attacked you too? No, I just mean because of her thorns. Thorns? I don't remember Rinwell having any magic like that. That sounds more like Shion than... Huh? Uh, anyway, Hoodle's probably just worried that you're going to take Rinwell away from him. He's pretty protective, after all. Maybe your first step should be to make friends with him and go from there. <laughs> right. That's a good idea, Alfin. I'll be sure to give that a try. Thank goodness for Lost Thick Skull. Let's doing? make sure to kick ass tomorrow, too. You've got a bit to catch up on for Juan Dolhoim, I believe. Especially after the extremes of some of the other regions we visited. Definitely. Your country is beautiful. You do me an honor. However, this place was never mine to own. I didn't mean it that way. Though, I guess technically you weren't born here either. Native or not, that doesn't change the feelings you had for the place. If I were you, I'd try to take a little pride in people's compliments. Allow myself to feel pride, huh? That sounds like no easy task. Nothing sounds easy when you overthink things the way you do. It must be exhausting. He's always worrying about something. It's probably what gives him his eye for detail. That's just the way he is. Yeah, so we'd noticed. Let's change the subject, shall we? It's a wonder so many things coincided to bring us here. Alfin's awakening, Shion's decision to revolt, the Danon uprising in Calaglia, the Crown Contest's final, sputtering throws. Zephyr's being in the right place at the right time, the fact that you happened to be a lord just as this was all going on? It's almost as if we were brought together by design. By someone who wanted to bring down the system. No, enough Hand of Destiny talk. We did this on our own steam. It's our responsibility to see it through. Did Law just utter a pearl of wisdom? I do think about things, you know. Just, what do you take me for, exactly? Honestly? Um, I always sort of pegged you as a likable dolt. What the hell makes me a dolt, you dolt? I mean, she did say he was a likable dolt, didn't she? Let's refrain from poking this particular zoogle any further. Some lessons just can't be taught. Not to dolts, anyway. Hey, Kisara. What's your secret for putting up with Dohalim? I don't know how you managed to deal with him. Secret? Oh, I don't think it's as difficult as all that, really. Could have had me fooled. Anyone who waxes lyrical on the aesthetic qualities of cactus thorns is a step too far for me. And those poetic flourishes he sneaks into regular conversation? How am I supposed to react? He likes the sound of his own voice, that's for sure. I say let him have his fun. No need to try and understand anything he says. Has he always been like that? He didn't seem as on edge all the time back in Menencia. Though he was my superior back then. So who's to say what I didn't see? A lord of Cislodia hid in plain sight while a crony posing as him carried out all his business. What if the lord we met in Vicent was really... An <laughs> imposter? Doha? That's your deal, man. Hardly. Like it or not, that's him all right. In all his flamboyant, circumloquacious glory. Come to think of it, what with being a lord and all, he's probably never had anyone to speak to on an equal basis. It wouldn't surprise me. Having you guys around, having a family in a way, must be what's helped him change. A little heads up on some of his eccentricities would have been nice. <laughs> It's those eccentricities that make him who he is. Oh shit. Well, I'm not here for these guys. I forgot I had the DLC music on. Got a little surprised there. We still can't like break through this. 
Well, this was still this was a nice waste of time, wasn't it? Path? I don't see any path. Do you mean that thing that looks like an animal trail? Path may be a generous term. I'm assuming you know where it leads. Hmm. My gut says to a bridge. Ha <laughs> ha. Hoodle says your gut's wrong. Really? Well, it is definitely in the right general direction. Not that main roads are necessarily danger-free, but he does have an uncanny knack for insisting on some strange and unique routes. Melvin always did like a challenge. Can't say I appreciate some of the more daredevil ways he's taken us, though. Like the landslide he insisted was a shortcut before disappearing off the edge? Nearly gave me a heart attack. I'll say, yet the intrepid explorer looked as happy as a pig in muck. Probably best we stick to doing our own orienteering in the future. Hey, so what about this route then? Maybe if we pretend we can't hear him. Don't you think the path forward is fraught enough without making extra problems for ourselves? Maybe best to reel it back. Good point. I say we stick to the main track like regular travelers for once. Uh, guys? <sighs> I will break down this wall! <laughs> In the world. Hey, Law. Been training? Yeah, I guess I got a little carried away. You think this is bad, you should see the state of my underwear. Oh my god. Yeah, a word of advice. You might want to refrain from mentioning that stuff around girls. Ones without a military history especially. Man, can you imagine Rinwell's face? She'd have a nervous breakdown. I meant in general, but you sure mention her a lot, you know. Huh? Oh, I, uh, I, you know, she's always there, even when you least expect it. Springs to mind easily. Either that, or maybe some part of you is subconsciously always wishing she was there. May the trials and tribulations of young romance never change. R romance? Like I'd be interested in that know-it-all tomboy. I'm more about mature women. Someone more like Kisara. You know, I used to be a tomboy too when I was Rinwell's age. Look, it's not tomboys I have anything against. But come on, you've got to admit she can be a lot to handle. Hey, I miss anything? What's all the fuss about? Uh, Rinwell. <laughs> Thunderblade! Ah! What the hell was that for? A little birdie told me you were speaking about me behind my back. <sighs> From the looks of it, I'd say you've got yourself a rival. It wouldn't be called the Spring of Your wall is getting a little fucking dry. Hey, Shion, how are you and Alfin getting on these days? That's a little out of the blue. Why do you ask? Sorry, it's just... I don't know, I'm just curious, I guess. I mean, a lot's changed now he's got his senses back and all. I suppose you're right. Well, to tell you the truth, if he'd been the way he is now back when I'd first met him, I probably wouldn't have gotten this involved. But then, if we hadn't met like we did, then I never would have experienced these feelings, so... <sighs> I guess... it's complicated. I can imagine. I know it's not the same thing, but... I know what it feels like to have someone you love who's out of reach. Because of Megal. Alfin's still alive. It's not too late, you know. And after all, who can say what the future holds? I think if I were you, I'd take things as they come for now. Besides, touch isn't everything. I've never touched you, Xion. But that doesn't stop you from knowing that I care about you, right? That's true. But I do remember back when we first met, you made it plenty clear you weren't my biggest fan. B but that was a long time ago. There were lots of things I didn't understand back then. Uh, not that that's the point. Don't worry, I'm only teasing. I know what you mean. Thank you. And you're right. There are ways to convey your feelings besides just touching. I'll say. Cooking immediately springs to mind. And if it's someone's favorite dish, all the better. If there's something on your mind that you want to tell him, why not try appealing directly to his stomach? He might just have a point. 
I'll give it a shot. Uh-oh. If it's Alpin's palette you're appealing to, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us. Well, well, friendship is about being supportive. Sometimes we just have to do our best and take one for the team, right? Indeed. I need to save if I'm just wasting time or if I'm gonna die in here. I shouldn't have actually saved Even it. Even after yeah. staying here, we never truly got to the bottom of what makes this realm's citizens tick. Renan and Danon are meaningless distinctions here. To have one's own mind is strictly forbidden. All that matters is blind obedience. That might be the case now, but it can't always have been like that. There must have been something more. Once, maybe. Question is, is that something still salvageable? If it's not, we'll just have to make something new. No, not we. They've had enough foisted on them as it is. You're right. It's time the people here had the chance to forge their own path. That's not to say it'll be easy, but it will be worthwhile. These things take time to... What the? What are they what shooting? The? An ambush? S sorry Sorry. There was a huge flying bug and I sort of shot without thinking. A bug? You mean like a zoogle? Something tells me she would have shot it, whether it was a zoogle or not. This realm is teeming with humid forests. It's only natural insects would feel more at home here than Menencia. In fact, I seem to recall reading somewhere that bugs around these parts lay their eggs in human food to ensure Ugh. healthy incubation. <laughs> Sounds like they're tougher than they look. Wha what about you, Alfin? Bugs don't creep you out? I wouldn't say I was their number one fan. Mind you, if times get desperate enough, I've been known to eat them. Ugh. Insects as a culinary option, you say? What kind of seasoning are we talking? Oh god. Dohalim, I don't think he was talking about cooking them. Hey, a lizard! <laughs> I never thought about this until now, Alfin. But doesn't it get hot wearing that armor all the time? You feel heat and cold again, don't you? What armor? Admittedly, yeah. It can get pretty toasty in this thing. Is it hard when your back starts to itch? Oh, you bet. Plus, my shoulders get stiff wearing it, even if it's not all that heavy. Kisara looks like she manages all right with her armor. What armor? Armor <laughs> takes a strong body and a stout heart. Spoken like a true guardsman. Not that I really get what you mean. The more I think about it, the more I realize what a pain it must be. Like, what do you do when you need to take a leak? Ew! That part can be a bit of a pain, yeah. More things to take off. That sucks, man. Wouldn't it be easier if you just walked around outside of your armor most of the time instead? You never know when the enemy might attack. As tempting as it might be to take it off, it's not worth getting killed over. So basically, you're screwed if you ever get attacked while taking a dump. Right, oh Rinwell? Are you doing this on purpose? Okay. How's what been going? Come on, man. You know what I mean. How have things been with you and Shion? I had a feeling it was about that. Well, what about things on your end? No, we're not talking about me. I'd rather hear about you. I don't really have anything to share on that front. Don't be like that. You think I can't tell something's been going on? Look, I'm not the type to go blabbing about that kind of stuff. Give me a break. Don't keep secrets from me just because you're a little old. I'm not that old. I don't know, man. Lately, it seems like you start wheezing as soon as we get into a fight. That's some pretty big talk. You really want to try your luck with me? talking about before it was uh, well it doesn't really matter now <laughs> what's wrong did I hit your head too hard no man you don't get it you're really something Alfin what do you mean just you 
how you always indulge me and help me work through my jumbled thoughts. Do I? Yeah, I always feel better after being with you. Even duking it out just now helped. <laughs> there you go again, making me out to be better than I really am. I'm not making you out to be anything. You can't stop me from admiring you, Alfin. You've got strange taste, then. Eh, I'm fine with that. I hope someday I can be there to lift you up, too. I don't plan on getting quite that old anytime soon. We should go again sometime. We should. I look forward to it. See you guys tomorrow. I feel pretty refreshed after that sleep. Care if I hang out for a while? Another fine day for journeying, huh? Tell me, do you ever find yourself tiring of the Vagabond existence? It's better than being enslaved, that's for sure. I get to pick my own destination, for starters. You don't get those luxuries as a slave. Shackle a man's feet, and you put a clamp on his heart as well. Then there was the food. Gross slop that left you in a permanent state of hunger. Ugh, you wouldn't believe the things I ate to keep from starving. What about you? This must all sound pretty alien to someone who used to be a lord. Is that a hint of interest in my past I detect? I guess that's one way to put it. Well, certainly starvation was never a concern I had to contend with. The day-to-day -day grind was largely taken care of for me. I even had help getting in and out of clothes. All that was required of me was standing still while looking solemn. That's quite the downgrade you've made. It's a wonder you don't sound more bitter. This might surprise you, but I actually don't find our current situation all that disagreeable. My own hardships paled in comparison to yours, granted. But life as a lord came laden with its own restrictions. Forgive me. Such complaints must sound like feeble extravagances to a Danon. True, Ren and Opulence doesn't feature high on my sympathy list. Then again, yours isn't exactly a normal case. I suppose it's not. Sometimes, I can't help but wonder how much easier life would have been without the trappings of nobility. You really mean that? Pay me no heed. Not but the ramblings of a privileged eccentric. Whatever my past, it has led to my being here. That is all the reality I need concern myself with. I suppose we should call it a day.
Extra break! It's weakened! This ends now! Ready and ready! Here's the roll! Try harder! My friend! Come on, now! Save you! Not today! Healing one's mine! Dragon Swarm! Be careful not to overdo it! I'm sorry. I'll do better. Dragon Swarm! Step back, this one's all law.